club on the rise. This week on FIFA Football, we're in Italy with Modena, aiming to return to the country's highest echelon. A man of many continents, Amiens' Steven Mendoza reflects on a career that's taken him around the globe. And Spain's young midfield star, Patricia Quijado, on her journey from the Balearics to Barcelona. Life is beautiful in Modena. You can live in the city centre and walk or cycle everywhere. Football gives you the chance to get to know the city straight away. It allows you to establish wonderful relationships with the fans and shopkeepers who could become your friends. We're often free in the mornings and when you go for a walk around the city, you can stop and have a chat with friends. It's fantastic. In northern Italy is Modena, an historic city with a proud football club. Modena FC has spent the majority of its 107-year existence in the country's top two divisions. But after relegation to the third tier in 2016, the club was declared bankrupt. Reborn last year as Modena FC 2018, they now play in Serie D, the country's fourth tier. And their first signing was a 37-year-old former hero. My first experience with Modena was in Serie B in 2004. I'd already visited a few times because my agent is from here and I like the city. Maybe it was destiny for me. That's how it worked out. During my last year at Modena, I met the previous owner. Everything went well, but I could tell something wasn't quite right because there wasn't that loyalty towards me. And I took that badly. People were very sad and didn't expect such an end for Modena. Above all, they didn't deserve it. The club means so much to me. It provided so many emotions and the chance to get into real, honest and brilliant football. Above all, it gave me the chance to come back to my city. Because although I was born in Palermo, I've been adopted by Modena. The Modena fans and Modena is a city. And this is my 10th season here. I owe so much to the city and above all to this shirt. Another new addition was Massimo Loviso. The 34-year-old began his career in Serie A with Bologna. Now at his 14th club, his experience is proving vital to an otherwise youthful squad. It's a group of young, interesting people and the Nazi young ones, who I already knew, such as Captain Perna, Gozzi, Sansovini. They are players who have a wealth of experience and they still have a huge desire. That's what I've noticed. I've seen it in training, with their ability to say a word or two and set an example. That's an important thing in terms of bridging the gap between the older players and those with less experience to help them develop and ensure they can aim to reach for the top level, which is what I wish for every young player. There's a serious project in place here, which is great. It's a level that I'd never played at. But the desire for success and aspiration to win titles and to get the club back to a higher level, which is where Modena have been in the past and where we want to be again, it's something that intrigued me. So I accepted the challenge. And I do see it as a challenge, given that I'm competing in a division that I've never previously played in. Last in the top flight in 2004, Modena's ambition this season is an immediate return to Serie C. A poor recent run has seen manager Luigi Apolloni depart. But after 21 games, Modena are just two points off the league leaders and automatic promotion. I'm Marco, I'm 42 years old and I've supported Modena all my life. 
This year we have to get promoted to Serie C. The club is doing well and the stadium is fairly full. There are comments on social media from people who'd like to see more attractive football. But I'd like to remind them that we aren't Real Madrid or Barcelona. We're Modena and we have to finish first. That's that. Forza Modena. Modena. Modena is a prestigious club. The records and the history books speak for themselves. It's a club that spent many years in Serie A and Serie B. So it's competed in major championships. It's an important part of the city. There's great excitement surrounding the team. The demands are very high and they know that. But that's a good thing. It's very important for everyone for the city and the fans, because some of the grounds that we play are too small for our support. I hope that we can take the fans to the stadiums that deserve them and divisions that deserve them as soon as possible. I think Modena is such an important club, and just like Parma, Chievo and Sassuolo, a serious project to take the club into Serie A. Celebrating together in the end is one of the best things that I've experienced. And it fills me with joy. From a warehouse worker to a masseur, for our fans and whatever jobs they do. Seeing them celebrate the team's success, having been a part of the team, fills me with joy.